Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is a prophecy report entitled, Pay Attention. On July 4th, Jean Worland posted these words from Hal Lindsey. In Matthew 16, 2 through 3, Jesus admonished us to discern the times. That means pay attention to what's going on. Study and apply God's word. And pray about everything. Today, we see signs of distress all over the world. We can see in real time things the Bible long ago told us about. And it's not pretty. Lawlessness, moral confusion, slander, deception, hedonism, uncontrolled rage, and cruelty fill our sight lines. These things are no longer theoretical events to be analyzed from a distance. They're happening all around us, and it can be scary. Jesus told us to watch the signs many times, but those that are not watching do not know or do not care. Pay attention because we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. The world needs to know what is going on, and it is the responsibility of the church to speak out. Here are some events that got my attention in recent days. Concerning the decline of America in world government, on July 4th, highly respected WorldNet Daily journalist Bob Unrun wrote an article about Justin Haskins' warning that America could lose its independence before the 2024 election. Haskins is the director of the Socialism Research Center at the Heartland Institute, and his article was posted on a conservative web magazine called The Federalist. According to Unrun, Askins said, A proposal to give the UN great power to deal with emergencies could cause the US as we know it to cease to exist. During an emergency, the UN wants the authority to call an emergency and be given power over most the world. The UN will be authorized to determine what an emergency is, when it begins and when it ends, and retain power over most of the world for as long as it wants. Instead of defending America's independence and sovereignty, the Biden administration has already expressed support for this UN power grab. Declaring the end of the US sounds dire, but it will be a fact come September 2024 if people don't stand up. Now note, it is difficult to keep all the meetings, the UN, WHO, WEF, IMF, meeting dates and agendas straight. Haskins wrote about what the UN is trying to do that will destroy the US before the next election. There will be other meetings that could destroy the US. The thing to remember about all these groups and meetings is that the world leaders are very close to establishing a world government. Here are some things that we have seen in the past two months. The WHO wants a global code of conduct, a global digital passport, a global digital currency, a global digital health record, and a global digital health certification network. The World Economic Forum wants holy books written by AI, the International Monetary Fund wants a global digital currency and transaction data. The United Nations wants a global digital ID linked to everyone's bank account and a seven-year covenant with many to bring in a world government. Emmanuel Macron wants a global tax. Unless God intervenes, the world is on the brink of a world government in the tribulation period. People need to pay attention because where we spend eternity could be at stake. The church is running out of time to be salt and light. Concerning the decline of America and a possible global economic collapse on July 7th, it was reported that Russia confirmed that the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, intend to start trading in a new currency backed by gold, and the official announcement will be made at the BRICS summit in August. Some officials predict that this will cause the value of the dollar to plunge, cause a major surge in inflation in the United States, 
eventually be seen as the beginning of the end of the dollar and send America's superpower status on a downhill slide from which it will never recover. Now, I'm not an economic expert, but it seems to me that there is no way for this to not have a negative impact on the global economy. Several other nations are seeking to join the BRICS nations. Concerning the turmoil in Israel and its impact on Israel's future, since January of 2023, there have been major riots and demonstrations in Israel over an upcoming vote on a bill to change Israel's judiciary. Israel's top judges are appointed by other judges. Liberal judges have taken over the judiciary. They appoint liberal judges to always ensure a liberal majority on the court. And the liberal majority they appoint always votes to keep Israel a secular nation. There are conservative Jews that want to worship on the Temple Mount, religious Jews that want to go back under the Mosaic Law, Jews that want to rebuild the Temple, resume the animal sacrifices. But even if those conservative and religious Jews get the Israel Knesset to pass a bill to do these things, the liberal judges can declare the bill illegal and kill it. That is right. Unelected liberal judges can overrule a majority vote of the elected officials, and they have angered many of the elected officials with their liberal votes. The latest Netanyahu government is conservative. It has the support of several religious parties. Netanyahu's government wants to pass a bill to take the power to appoint judges away from the liberal judges and empower the government to appoint judges. In addition to that, if the Israeli Knesset passes a bill and the unelected judges declared illegal, the Knesset wants the power to review the judge's decision and perhaps vote to overturn it or part of it. As I understand it, the ongoing riots and demonstrations in Israel are about two things. One, who makes the laws in Israel, the people's elected representatives in the Knesset, or a group of unelected liberal judges? Two, what kind of nation will Israel be in the future, a secular nation or a religious nation? According to the Bible, Israel will go back under the Mosaic law, they will rebuild the temple, and they will resume the animal sacrifices. Note, some Orthodox Jews believe the Messiah will give them permission to rebuild the temple. Based on John 5 verse 43, some prophecy teachers believe the Jews will accept the Antichrist as the Messiah. They believe the covenant that is confirmed or strengthened by the Antichrist will give the Jews permission to rebuild the temple and it will be rebuilt very early in the tribulation period. That will be after the rapture, and Israel may be taking a turn in that direction now. Are you paying attention? In addition to the riots and demonstrations being about whether Israel will be a secular nation or a religious nation in the future, here are two more events that we have seen in recent weeks. The Jews may soon have the ashes of a red heifer that will permit them to rebuild the temple. A member of Netanyahu's ruling Likud party has submitted a bill to divide the Temple Mount between Muslims and Jews so the temple can be rebuilt. The effort to rebuild the temple appears to be slowly advancing. On July 11th, the Reasonableness Standard Bill passed in the Knesset by a vote of 64 to 56. If it passes a second and then a third vote, hopefully before the end of this month, it will become law in Israel. In that case, Israel will soon become more religious and less secular. Concerning persecution in the coming world religion, on July 10th, the New American posted an article that said a UN authorized report urges governments to threaten and punish religious leaders and organizations that don't go along with the LGBTQ orthodoxy. Right now, this appears to be just a recommendation, but the Bible teaches that extreme persecution and death await those that do not follow the anti-Christian, globalist agenda during the tribulation period. The U.S. pays 22% of the U.N. budget. 
A different article said the UN report condemns the anti-gay interpretation of Judeo-Christian scriptures. It celebrates religious groups that promote gay and transgender values. It says medical workers and institutions should be forced to perform abortions, transgender treatments, and surgeries. Now, God does not send anyone to hell. All of us are born with a sin nature and destined to go to hell because we sin. But God has provided a way, Jesus, for everyone to go to heaven. And he is the only way to get there. Finally, are you rapture ready?